there's a lot of claims that are being made out there about how well probiotics are, and there's a lot of good science behind that showing that that's true. Uh, but the reason, the problem that we, the hurdle that we have to overcome, at least from a research and a health standpoint, is trying to find out the right amount of which ones and standardizing that so that when you do go get that one, you know kind of what you're getting. So if you get a blood pressure pill, you know what it's supposed to do, and you take the right blood pressure pill. You don't get the wrong blood pressure pill, but that's kind of where probiotics are right now because you could just get a blood pressure pill, take any pill, it's supposed to lower your blood pressure, but you don't know how much of the medication is in there. Is it the right one? Does it work on a different mechanism? And this is kind of what the field is starting to try and figure out now. In my practice, I do give out prescriptions for lactobacillus GG for patients taking antibiotics to prevent complications from it. Uh, so I do prescribe that, uh, and from the research I've done, uh, in the emergency department at least, it happens only about like five to 10% of the time that that actually happens. Most people don't take it or, or aren't advised to. Uh, but some patients are very proactive and they want to go and, and take something for their health. And there's a, wide, there's a wide variety. So I know from that standpoint, I tell them to take the lactobacillus GG because I know the research behind it. Uh, not to say that the other ones can't work, but there's just not the evidence behind it yet to actually prove that and say that, that that does happen. For other conditions, I tell people that it's a new field. I don't quite know. There's a lot of options out there. But uh, especially if suffering from chronic medical conditions, it's worth trying different, different things that are out there and see what, ha see what helps. A lot of people do find benefit and relief from trying different types. And usually I advise them outside of preventing antibiotic associated diarrhea and C. diff, I usually say, well, if you want to try this, your microbiome might be affected by your medical condition. And it's worth trying because they're safe, medic they're safe uh, supplements to take or medications, how you look upon it. And so I think that that's, that's the right thing to kind of tell the patient.